Hey everyone, I'm Ryan with USUI. I'm the sales and events manager. Um, USUI now has a, a full US office and US presence, and uh, it's, this is not an event we typically would be able to show up to because we we're Swedish based, but now we're based in the US. And uh, yeah, I mean, we're not just hydration packs. That's how a lot of people know us. Uh, we've started to make bike packing gear, riding apparel for moto and mountain bike. We're doing travel luggage. Um, hip packs, um, jackets. So we're moving on to just, we're moving on to more than just hydration packs and backpacks. I mean, obviously we're a world leader in that and all the top factory pros use it, but we, we're taking a lot of the same technology and our experience with materials and sewing and our contractors making really, really good quality product, waterproof, wind resistant, super durable. And uh, yeah, we wanted to offer something more to our riders than just hydration packs. So that's why we're here. So yeah, we're gonna run through all the stuff. I mean, this is, Obviously in the bicycle world, but this would be bike packing. So strap it onto your road bike, gravel bike, go camping off your bike. So this is something with, you know, a lot of the USUI um, designers that was really important to us to start adding ways to, to make cool gear. So. And then if part of for it. you guys out there that know hydration packs, I mean, there's probably not another company out there that does it as, as good, you know, and I'm not a big off-road guy, but on the occasion that me and my son do go trail riding, um, that's the pack we reach to in, in the shop. So maybe, go over that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, so this is uh, our, our Moto Hydro 8 pack, which is basically an eight liter pack. We have a variety of sizes and they all look pretty similar. It's just obviously more volume, more water, but what's synonymous for the USUI brand um, is the X-shaped harness and obviously the hose comes over. Um, it's not out on this one, but what makes our pack so comfortable and why everyone chooses to use them and word of mouth and friends, like it just is so comfortable and that is because of the stretch. So we have a patent on that. So you get four-way stretch on all four corners, um, four-way adjustable Velcro, so it fits pretty much every body type. This is actually a new adventure pack, so if you're 200 plus pounds, you have a jacket on, chest protector, you're getting kind of big, and a big circumference around your chest. This is our adventure fit, so it's a little bigger, but same concept, and of course, single buckle. So, you know, four-way adjustment, stretch on the straps, um, variety of sizes, and that is really what makes a USB pack different. You, there may be, in, intimidators and people that try to copy it but obviously we have patented you know protection around that and uh, we have you know 15 plus years of you know riders um you know testifying and testimonies on how good it is and it's winning every every race you're wearing a pack we're yeah. typically winning and that also goes to our hip packs as well so like gncc and um, a lot of like hair and hounds they're doing they're, they're doing hip packs hard enduro and trail riding are typically doing a backpack or, or hydration pack but yeah we're so real quick, just coming from, from me, I'm a moto guy, and what Ryan was saying, you know, I'm not used to wearing anything on me at all when I go for a ride, but what's nice about this is it hugs it hugs your body, and if you're a guy that doesn't really wear anything, you're not used to having anything on your body, um, it hugs you nicely and it doesn't flop around, so it feels like it's a part of your body, so when you're when you're moving around your motorcycle, it doesn't feel like it's it's hanging off or interrupting your, uh, your movement on the motorcycle, so that's... Uh, one of the benefits for for this pack right here. Yeah, and our, our tagline, which you know we've been saying for years, uh, it's called it's our no dancing monkey harness, our yeah, NDM perfect. harness, yeah. and we have different levels, one, two, or one point two, depending on our big, bigger packs. But no dancing monkey is you know our concept about stretch, elasticity, comfort. You don't want a dancing monkey on your back, and yeah, we apply that to a lot of different things. Uh, it should stay put not move. <laughs> All right, here with Giant Loop, we got Jeff. Um, so Jeff's gonna go over just maybe a couple products that he likes personally and uh, give a little bit of background about the company. So uh, maybe hit a couple highlights of what you guys offer for the people out there. Absolutely, I'd love to. Yeah, so my personal favorite here is our Cactus Canteen. Uh, what this is is a real focus on a water bladder, uh, lightweight, uh, going on your bike. Uh, it can strap in you know, kind of almost any position with these uh, daisy chains here. What I really like, uh, just makes it very easy, is we have a spout here at the bottom. And this just leads to easy uh, dispensing of the water, whatever you want. You can just drink straight out oh, nice. of it. Very easy, very nice. Yeah, it makes it convenient. What's what's this all about here? Uh, so these are our pronghorn straps. Um, they're very universal. I like to say you can use them for almost anything. Uh, 
these uh, we use a, we use a lot of them to strap our own gear to the bike. Okay. Uh, yeah, that kind of thing. Like with the daisy chains here, you just kind of yep. like wrap it around whatever kind of rack system you got going on. Uh, handlebars, you can strap stuff to handlebars. So stretchy, different sizes. Kind yeah, of exactly. Super stretchy. You would you'd amaze me if you broke them. Uh, we we've actually hung um, a 100 pound uh, like weight just to test oh, these really? things. It lasted like <laughs> I think a week and a half. Just, no way. Just suspended. Yeah. I'll be down. Blew my mind. Yeah, exactly. Uh, right here, we got our buck and roll tank bag. This is just a nice little tank bag. Sits right in front of your handlebars there. Uh, really lightweight. Inside, it's perfect for just a, a phone, whatever you need. Just quick access to right there. Very easy to handle. It's not a good example. Um, and here we have our armadillo bags. These are our, uh, our, our um, uh, what do we call these? Our liquid uh, power reservoirs. Um, and here we have a, we kind of have the same thing over there with the, the water containers. We just have a spout for easy uh, dispensal of, you know, whatever you need, that kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah, if you, if you look over here, we got a lot of our gear just kind of on the bike. We got our, uh, our signature zigzag handlebar bag, just sits uh, around the handlebar. Uh, fits any handlebar. I haven't seen one that it won't fit on. We got our buck and roll, like I said, just sits right there. Super easy access to, you know, whatever you need. Um, back here, we have our Mojave saddlebag. This is our uh, kind of signature saddlebag. Um, it's our most popular one, good size. Uh, we have our bigger ones, uh, Coyote, Great Basin. Um, bigger steps up, uh, you know, in terms of size, uh, liter, can, uh, liter storage. Um, we got this new design, actually, where kind of got the buckle system. We moved away from zippers just because they're a little, you know, annoying to yeah, work right. with, that kind of thing. And yeah, as I was saying, we got our pronghorns here, just mounting it. Um, all of our pronghorns kind of mount our gear. It's kind of just a signature thing. Comes with the bag and everything, so you don't have to... Simple and easy. Yeah, exactly. Yep. It just makes it easy. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, my name is Chris Cooley. My company is CCR Sport. Been around for 26 years now, and it all started with the Bed Buddy Moto Rack, which is a motorcycle tie-down rack. Originally designed to bolt in the bed of pickup trucks to reinforce the bulkhead. Provides adequate tie down points, gets them up where they need to be to stabilize the bike. And the wheel slot here holds the bike in place because one of the main issues with hauling motorcycles in the bed of pickup trucks is the front tire wants to always turn inward when you're driving down the road. And when it does that, it slacks the inside tie down, the bikes lean over, tie downs fall off, bikes fall over, and everybody's sad. So this solves all that problem. And then we've got the, the latest rendition of a motorcycle tie-down rack for trucks, and that's called the Hybrid. And what I did is I took, took another product that I did, the Pro Track, took the Bed Buddy, and combined the two. What's neat about this is completely modular, so a guy can configure it however he wants on any given day for any vehicle. If he's got a narrow vehicle like a Ford Maverick or a Jeep Gladiator, we can make a narrow one to fit in those narrow little pickups. Honda Ridgeline? Honda Ridgeline all day long. Um, the wheel chocks are a cool design because they move. So if you got a, like my kid's got a BMX bike with a tire that wide, well, you just slide that sucker in there. I'll be down. Clamps it down. You got a cruiser or something like that, you move it out. So even skinny road bike tires. Absolutely, okay. yep. Mountain bikes, you name it, e-bikes. Um, but what this one, the hybrid does, it really does allow the consumer to set it up exactly the way that he wants. You know, I'd get phone calls from guys saying, hey, can you make me one of these with one hook and one thing and this way and that way. Got this one now, they can do it however they want. It's sold in pieces, it's sold as a kit. So a guy can really is unlimited as to what he wants to do with it. Chris comes from a background where we all, he's a rider, he used to work uh, at Dirt Rider, he was a test rider, MX racer, Trans World. He's been around a while, so he knows what we dirt bikers like. So. It's very cool to see him get out of our industry and step into this and stuff that's useful for us everyday guys that ride dirt bikes. And maybe less important, but nonetheless, I'm a big stickler when it comes to tie downs, Chris. Me and my buddy Travis Preston, it's all we have is CCR tie down. So I don't Love know it. what's going on there, but it's important to have good tie downs. That's, good, that's important. Good American made tie downs yeah. right here. It's none of that cheap Home Depot stuff that, that a lot of guys are running around with. Yes. Really good high tensile strength uh, webbing. Gets the job done. It's got the soft tie sewn into it. So guys that want to loop it around the handlebar, run the S hook through it around the ha handlebar, protects the handlebar from scuffs and scapes. And then of course it's got the carabiner hook on the end that yep. attaches to the vehicle. So easy, it doesn't, doesn't pop off. 
So yeah, this, this thing came out of necessity back in the day, as it, like you had said, you know, being a dirt bike racer, bouncing around California highways, day in and day out, going to the track, needed a better Seeing your bike leaning for, out there like, oh crap. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, you've had them fall over and yep. ding up the bed sides and things like that. Guys tend to pull them down way too tight, cave the front bulkhead into the cab of the truck. So this solves all of that for you. And it makes loading bikes really quick and easy by having a center, center tie down loop. You're no longer having to crisscross tie downs over tires or through spokes, getting down to the little factory hooks that are down there that are kind of unreachable most of the time. This puts everything right up where you need it. Uh, where can they see these? CCRsport.com. Eric with Motion Pro here. Happy to show you guys some great products here. Uh, not everybody gets to see them at once here, so we have a lot of cool stuff for restoring bikes, uh, maintaining your bike, um, and throttle kits, control side, uh, levers, uh, T-handles, chain tools, uh, service tools, so the whole gamut. Um, I really got a, a good chance to use a lot of these things. Just I restored some old two-strokes and that really just kind of helped uh, get the juices flowing as far as using our tools. Uh, they save people, save you time in the shop. Um, our service techs really like them. Um, you know, we have a little bit of, of everything as far as uh, your basic stuff for your average day rider um, all the way like i said up to service tech type stuff uh, valve spring compressors um, compression tools leak down tester this is a cool unit this is our dowel pin puller set that's uh, designed by us but you know tearing apart an engine case you're going to run into dowel pins those are seized a lot of times depending on how old the motor is and so these collets provide a really great way to pull those out there's a slide hammer here so really just trying to make uh, maintenance easier and faster for the average motorcyclist and the service tech. So just some things that I, uh, I see here, and there's all kinds of stuff here. So I have a lot of Motion Pro stuff in the shop. Uh, of course, T-handles, if you guys were dirt bikers, we love T-handles, Motion Pro, some of the best T-handles. Uh, a sag scale, that's in my, in my shop. I have, what else, uh, of course, Throttle tubes, I'm not, a, I'm not a huge lock on grip guy, so I go to Motion Pro tubes to replace those. These are uh, our, our Titan tubes? Yes, those are great. So great for uh, heavy, heavy conditions, rocks and all that. Uh, a couple things here, tire spoons and also a bead buddy. You guys don't have a bead buddy and you change tires, this is, this is next level, this is like a marriage. You should always have one of these <laughs> and keep it safe next to you. Um, there are just so many things that these guys offer, and I sometimes I spend a lot of time on the computer just looking at what they have. And, uh, and it really is for the, the gamut of, yeah. of motorcycles, so sport bike, ADV, dual sport, uh, and motocross, we kind of service all facets of it. Um, our, our, some of our throttle kits and our control kits you know, definitely came from the road race American flat track side, um, where this obviously gives you a variable rate on your throttle and so you can adjust it to your liking. So cool, cool product for four strokes. Um, we have, so explain this to people. This is, this is great. I like this. This is our hex axle tool. And so essentially um, this goes on the inner hex of the front axle and allows you a way to hold it and break that axle free. And so uh, this is our shop version, which is a chromoly. And so it's more heavy duty. And then we have a, an aluminum version that's kind of for the trail pack intended to take with you. And so, uh, a lot of our, our products, they may, may be for the shop, but we definitely have our trail tool items. Our popular ones are gonna be our tie wrenches. And so these are really cool. Oh, wow. Titanium wrenches, there you go. And so in a, in a trail pack scenario, it makes a huge difference to have your set of tie wrenches. These combo levers, which are aluminum, uh, they come with adapters, with hex adapters, so you're not maybe taking ratchets with you. Um, this is a great piece. I have this, so when we go trail riding from the house is in the fanny pack, it's, you know, it's, it's so many things you can do with this tool right here. There's also an axle adapter here right. too, so you get a 17, 27. Depending on your bike, you you want to just reference your sizes, but we have adapters for multiple. And then that's tools. not it's not cumbersome. It's easy to put in. And this is our uh, our latest our newest 30 millimeter size. So a lot of the new uh, Huskies have a 30 millimeter axle. Yep. So that's what is uh, new for this. Ah, it's our classic folding handle uh, chain tool. Easy. Easy yeah. to use, breaks the chain, 
great for your toolbox. Look, we know Dirt Bike TV One likes to grind chains off. <laughs> you don't have to do that. We love Jay, but right here, it's super easy. Breaks your chain, done deal. Got multiple options on the chain side, uh, chain tool side. Um, you know, if you were going to have this, uh, we have a, a press on, press off tool for pressing on the master link plate, side oh, plate, wow. okay. or off. And so uh, these two kind of have, make a nice uh, tool arsenal for your toolbox. Uh, on the more shop side of it, this is our kind of our Cadillac of chain tools. This is our PBR tool, and this will press break rivet. And so the riveting the chain, you really need a heavy tool tool body to do that, and it comes with all the all the items to do it. Yeah, a lot of Supercross factory teams, they run pressed on chains. There's no master link. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's one of the tools that they're going to have. But you're, you're able to do that if you're just pressing on the, Correct. the, the chain with that. So uh, this is our, our most recent ADV chain tool, and it's an aluminum body with a uh, steel insert. And so the, the tool is eight ounces, and it really just makes it um, convenient to take along with you in your trail pack or your panniers, and it kind of complements our trail tool accessories. And so this kind of comes in this style pack, has everything in it. You can throw your extra links in there. And where can they go find this stuff? Motionpro.com or see your local dealer. Uh, our dealers usually stock a lot of these tools. They have, we have a tool center. Um, control cables and levers you'll usually see at our dealer. So check us out. Hi, I'm McKenna. I'm the office manager at Guts Racing, um, and today we have a few different things to showcase, but uh, one of our things that we really want to focus on is our wing seat. Um, so this has pieces of phantom lightweight foam sewn into the sides of the seat cover, so it can be utilized on any stock height seat foam. So you don't need to buy a different foam to use the wing seat, um, and it's sewn in there, so the foam is never exposed and it's just ready to staple right on just like any other seat cover. Um, we offer these in the OEM colors um, and solid colors only. So for the new Yamaha Two Strokes, since they came out with a edition that has a purple seat, we now have purple, but uh, previously we had YZ Blue and black also. Um, and then for Cowies, we have KX Green and black. And then for Hondas, we have red and black and so on and so forth. Um, another, thing that we have is our velcro seat so um, these are super convenient because all you need to do is just stretch your cover over and adhere it to the velcro pieces each seat comes with a specific velcro pattern to stick to the base um, and then the cover just adheres from there so we recommend throwing a few staples in the velcro pieces on the base but it's not completely necessary if you don't have the materials and then you can just stretch the cover right over um, and we've had no issues with the cover moving at all. We have our lightweight seat foam too. So this is the same material that's in the wings of the wing seat cover um, and it's significantly lighter than our OEM foam um, and still lighter than the OEM foam that comes stock on the bike. We have a few accessories too for the seats. Um, so if you order just a seat cover, a seat foam, and one of these, you have the freedom to put it anywhere you want on the seat. So you can have it as far forward or as far back on the seat as you want. Um, and then the cover would just be installed over this. It has an adhesive backing on it that you just peel off and stick right wherever you want. Um, if you order a complete seat, we usually put them about three quarters of the way back on the seat unless otherwise specified. Um, and they all are designed just to keep you from sliding off the back of the seat. Same thing with the step. We have a half inch and a one inch option on this. Um, same thing, you can put it wherever you want. And then this one, depending on how long the seat is or how big it is, you can trim as needed. Um, and then you can just put it wherever you want. This is Andy. You should know Andy by now. He's the owner of Guts Racing. Started it how long ago? 1990, it's a long time ago. I was just a little dude. So I'm a big Guts fan. What I didn't know, this is new to me, I didn't know how many different patterns that you guys actually offer as far as grip material. So how many do you think you guys actually have? I believe we have 17, but I don't, I don't know. You'd have to ask McKenna. Like She knows this stuff off the top of her head. She's a pro. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing, so you Yamaha owners, the 23, 24, YZ, 450, 250 Yamaha owners are complaining about your butts. I have for the past six months. Actually squeezing my butt right now, I can feel it's a little sore because I raced yesterday. Um, it is rounded. It is not 
shaped right for us normal sized riders. Uh, I get monkey butt pretty bad and just get bruised. So this guy right here, we we talked a little bit. I said, hey, we got to do something about the seat. He came up with a flat seat, much easier, much friendlier for your butt. So if you're a 23, 24 Yamaha YZ250, 450F owner, that is the ticket. Yeah, so we offer the stock height and stock replacement with the rounded shape, or we have the stock height wide, like that's what this guy is here. And if you have the Yamaha, you can see in the picture, you are in the video, you can see it is really flat, more traditional like the 22 model. And then also in the wider version, we offer a plus 14 taller, already comes wide. So if you need the seat to be a little, little taller, and then we have a plus 25 that's also wider. Um, both the taller ones, we don't have the option for the really rounded narrow. We only have the wider, and same with the stock height, though you can get the, the rounder if you, if you choose to, to stick with the stock shape. So I go back and forth from the rounded, his, the guts foam and the flat foam. I prefer the flat foam. It's a little bit easier, honestly, when you're pushing on the flat corner to get the weight down on your outside peg. So I like the flatter seat. And again, if you ride a long time like myself, you just want a friendlier seat for, I don't have a butt. Most motocrossers don't have a butt. So uh, for you guys out there, that's the ticket. All right, hey, so Sandro here with Galfer Braking Systems. We're gonna do a quick overview of the Galfer product line. Uh, today we're showing you guys off a little bit of the Galfer rotors. Um, all Galfer rotors are 420 high carbon stainless steel, double disc ground, never stamped. They're heat treated for every specific application. Their versions that we have are floating with a tsunami cut, non-floating, which would be something like these guys right here. So it really depends on what kind of riding you're doing that you're gonna be choosing through the entire product line um, and figuring out what kind of performance you want out of it, you know. We have uh, race pads. We also have uh, regular everyday brake pads that you're gonna be able to replace on uh, your brake system. Again, if you're doing like track days, like something like today, you will probably be running the full race pad or the sintered pad. And if you were doing mostly a lot of like trail riding through the hills, then you'd be doing the semi-metallic. We manufacture uh, all the rotors in Barcelona, Spain, and uh, the brake lines are manufactured here in the States in Carson City. All our steel braided brake lines are Teflon on the inside, 72 lines of braid on the outside. They have a lifetime warranty. One of the things that they're very neat about our brake lines is that the banjo fittings are pre-positioned. So you do not have to do any sort of guessing and figure out whether the fitting, it's supposed to be twisted one way or another. It's, they're all pre-positioned. We also give you guys little information where the master cylinder end is at because a lot of the times these things look a lot alike. So which one goes where? And dirt know? bike people maybe aren't the smartest people sometimes. So that's very good. Well, I wasn't going to say that. But. <laughs> I'll say that. It's okay. I'm one of them. So lines have a lifetime warranty. Steel braided brake lines allow you to have no expansion on your brake system. When you get on the brakes, it becomes extremely stiff and nice, good feel. Um, we make hydraulic clutch lines. Anything that's got to do with a braid hose, braided hose, we make it here in the States. And uh, another part of our... Uh, applications are um, brackets. We do a lot of brackets for 270 oversized kits and 280 oversized kits. So depending on what you're doing, these brackets are all made here in the States. And uh, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, top quality, uh, great service. Um, we've been making brake systems since uh, 1952. So it's been a couple of days. It was started by my grandfather. and. Uh, here we go, we continue on. A couple things uh, for me, just using the Galfer product. So he was mentioning the, the hangers. So when you buy an oversized disc, some of the most important thing, you know, obviously the disc is important, but this is an important piece to, um, for me, when you sometimes other products, other companies, you buy the hanger, you buy an oversized disc and you get a lot of hang up within your disc. And it drag. doesn't drag. Yeah. So this is a very important piece to get uh, correct, so you don't have a lot of drag. So Galfer's always been really good when I put a Galfer product on that I still have a free feeling, uh, you know, front wheel, rear wheel, yeah. so there's not a lot of drag there. Yeah, we because we work mostly with some of uh, the top Supercross and Motocross teams in the nation, you know, if you give them a bracket that makes the front wheel get stuck, yeah. 
when they jump, that's not a really feel good that, thing. Right? Yeah. yeah. So no, we want nice and free flow. And all the brackets are designed and engineered here in the state. So if there's any issues, we can fix them very fast, you know? Yep, awesome. really good stuff. Hey, camera guy, come on in. Oh, dude, yeah. yeah. You can even sleep hey, you got here. More, yeah. You can put three people in here, no problem. Yeah. So this is called the Hitch Hotel. It's a product I invented about uh, nine years ago. Uh, this is the about the 10th design of it and uh, it's now ready to go to market. It's a miniature trailer that collapses into 42 inches when it's closed. And as you can see, it's a seven foot two bed in here when it's open. It can carry mountain bikes, it can carry motorcycles, go-karts, generators, wheelchairs. Where you're sitting now, where I'm sitting now, you can put two mountain bikes in here when it's closed. It's where Aiden's sitting is, is uh, right behind him is a vent for full AC and heat. And what was your name again? I'm sorry. I'm Chris. Chris. Yeah. Uh, uh, that is the power system that runs off a 100 amp hour battery. It also has a solar panel up on the roof. You can plug 110 into it as well to run a generator, run a full AC. It's got a, a rooftop LED light with a rooftop fan. Uh, and those, those windows, if you reach up there, Chris, you can pull that screen down. Uh, right there, pull that down. It should be able to come down. Now pull it back up. And you can pull the other one up oh. from the bottom, pull from the bottom up. Oh. So it's screened and blinded. Oh yeah. So you uh, get all the privacy, all the windows are screened and blinded. That one is uh, has to be a magnet that holds that one on. But the whole idea behind it is to be able to store something very small in a garage. It weighs 960 pounds and uh, the smallest car on the planet can tow it. So You know yeah. what? We had a great camping trip. I say we load up and head out. Let's see how let's, it does it. Let's get out of here. So basically what happens is you release this floor here. The first thing you do is release the floor. The floor then pops up. And because I don't have the wheel chocks on it, you have to kind of give it a little bit of a bump. And you basically bump it closed. And you bump it all the way till it reaches the frame. You'll feel it touch the frame. You back it off a little bit. You pull this pin. Set this brake. This rotates up inside. These dowels hold it stable. Oh yeah. Do the same thing on this side. Even your teenage son could do this. I feel like he he could actually do this by himself. I did it one time, they timed me, and it took 52 seconds. 52 seconds? Yeah. So you probably get it done in 27 minutes, eh? Well, then you gently slide it to where it hits the pins on the frame, pull the pins up, slide it in. Boom. Pull the stabilizer out. Put the pin back in. You ready to rock and roll? Really cool. Obviously, you close the storage box. It has a solar panel that sits up on the roof. It's got a 100 amp hour battery. The solar panel will power the battery in uh, less than seven hours. Okay. Uh, it's got an onboard heater, and the uh, the uh, the air conditioner is the option. It's really expensive, so we don't include it. If people want to put their own AC on, they can. Uh, the full power runs through Anderson cables through here. Uh, it's got an inverter inside this. This is the solar panel. Uh, this is an option. This bike rack basically unpins from the toolbox, comes away, stores in the corner of your garage. This tow box comes off. The tow bar folds up and it will sit in 42 inches of space. Basically what you're looking at is from here to here in your garage. How much we cost here? $14,000 without the AC, 15 with. Uh, it's also got a power winch on it down here for power closing. We're starting to sell them to the disabled community and to, for them to close it, they can literally just push a button and 
uh, and it'll pull itself close. They have to fold the legs up, but uh, that's really not that difficult. I, I, I didn't think it was going to work, but uh, the guy that is uh, that we're giving these to says, oh no, disabled people love this thing. I'm like, really? Okay, let's do it. Camping made easy. Where can uh, consumers find this? Hitchhotel.com. Hitchhotel.com is where we're at. And uh, uh, we have got an Instagram, it's Hitch Hotel as well, but you got a bunch of videos on Hitch Hotel and there's a lot of explanation of what it is on the, on the website. Shows how it opens and closes, just basically what we did just now, so. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. What's going on guys? This is Donnie and Carson from the Flying Machine Factory. Uh, it's our 50th year anniversary this year. So we figured out we'd bring out some, some of the latest and greatest innovation for you guys to check out. Um, you'll be able to see this at Anaheim One. Um, <laughs> probably on uh, Eli Tomac or Cooper Webb's bike. So, um, no, in all uh, funny business, this is the actual first kind of draft of our Mega Bomb header when we were late night dyno testing in the room, Big D, George, just hacking stuff up, re-welding it, trying new things. Really had this idea of, of giving uh, a four stroke header more air, back pressure, what if we, continued the tubing all the way through, created a resonance chamber, um, which led to our, our Mega Bomb header, which is uh, patented by FMF as the first resonance chamber. Um, so we do own the patent on this technology. Obviously now it comes on every single bike that you will see, whether it's an original equipment piece um, or an aftermarket exhaust company. Um, but instead of trying to enforce the patent, we said, you know what, we're not gonna spend time and money in court. Let's spend that same money on marketing. So let's go have fun with this. Let's tell everyone that we were the original ones that, that started the resonance chamber technology for, for off-road motorcycles. And so here we are, kind of see an evolution of uh, 50 years in the making. What do you think, Kiefer? Uh, look it, <laughs> one of my first sponsors was FMF. Uh, I think I got 60% off and it was huge for me. And I've been a fan of FMF products for many, many years. I don't even think years. you get that much now. No. <laughs> We've well, got you baby I've, back. I've reversed. <laughs> So they're like, I suck so bad, I, I got to pay full pop. So uh, great products for me, obviously. Uh, what Little D said, um, if you have any kind of Austrian machine, if you guys are looking for more power, better looking mufflers, and just to lose some weight, FMF is the place. And not to mention that they have two-stroke pipe galore. Like if you want to talk about two-strokes, I'm not the guy to talk about it. You know, I'm going to move it over here. But everywhere you look, two-strokes, this guy right here. Yeah, so obviously FMF in 1973 started with a two-stroke engine. Uh, today we're still innovating two-stroke pipes. This is the new 2024 KTM 50SX that just now getting ready to come out. Um, and instead of hand welding like we've always done over the years, we're now into the robotic welding, which is pretty cool because we're still investing into two-stroke technology um, and, and our own manufacturing uh, technology. We are the only company in America that uh, manufactures everything in-house, which is really special do it out of Southern California. Like I said, we're a 50 year old brand, so we love dirt bikes and uh, yeah, I don't know. I like this right here. Yep. So Kiefer. Yeah, I want to wear one 1973, some yeah. of our heroes, guys like Marty Smith, Dan Laporte, wore this jersey, this famous red and yellow jersey from, from back in the day. So you, you, we said, you know, it's our 50th year anniversary. We got to bring that back. The cool colors, the vintage feel, you know, Retro is always cool, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but we kind of came out with a more modern modern fit. You know, all the bells and whistles, like Carson says, microfiber, moisture wicking, got the flex, the feel. It's a really great lightweight jersey. And I'm sure some music star will wear this on stage at some point to sing their songs. I hope. Right? Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah, that's cool. I wore it, we wore it at uh, LA Coliseum, Coliseum, just walked around with it. People were freaking losing oh, their yeah, minds. It was right? so rad. Yeah. yeah, so people were like, where'd you get that old jersey? I'm like, oh, actually just stay tuned. In one week, it's gonna drop and you yeah. can go get your own. It's really cool, yeah. Yep. Yeah, so thanks for stopping by, Kiefer. We just, uh, you know, we got some stuff for you guys. We got uh, some toys. Oh, yes. Yep, we got some toys. You're a big kid. So, I am. Um, gotta, gotta take care of. We got moon sand at home. This is coming handy. You know, we, we got, we know you gotta, we got a little boy at home. He's not so little anymore, but uh, yeah. you know, <laughs> we'll pumped. make. Still pumped. Yeah. Yep. He'll break. It's like he'll, Christmas. He'll break the front end off the first the first ride <laughs> in the dirt. Be like, great. There goes thirty dollars. Right. You got to buy him a new one. This thing is actually legit looking, huh? It's, oh, it's legit. Yeah. Let's get some detail shots, Kellen. 
Mike's yeah. Almost Kel, like that Sim. For you. Almost like Sim, Kel. <laughs> we, did, we did bring jersey for you guys. But oh, we you got did? Some, we got some odd sizes from... Uh, Medium might fit. Actually, it looks big, so it looks like it's perfect for me. That's the point of it, no? 